What's up guys? This is a twin flame update, but today I did it quite differently. I wanted to check on the karmics because if you check out these videos, you may have commented yourself. There is always like negative comics as comments as it pertains to the karmic. And the truth is most of us have been a karmic to someone or is a current karmic in someone's life as well being embodying and and relating and resonating with the divine feminine energy does not um does not mean that you're not a karmic in somebody's life as well so i just wanted to do a reading to check up on a karmic or to get a message as it pertains to the karmic from spirit because there's so much negativity spewing as it pertains to karmics when the truth is you are a karmic to someone right now you're you, you may be a divine feminine divine partner to someone but you are also a karmic to someone else and you may even be, sometimes the karmic thinks they're the divine feminine and they're not because they're with uh, with someone that they're codependent with or with someone who was in their life, a soulmate to teach them a lesson, not a soulmate, um, not a divine partner. Yes, it's still a, a, a divine partnership and we don't want to get stuck on labels, but you know, it, it's something that was in your life to teach you a lesson, to help you grow. You may have been with that person for years but you it wasn't supposed to last and it is time for that person to move on perhaps with their divine partner but you can't let go that makes you a karmic so all of you in these comments and, and you're saying negative things about the karmic reassess yourself and ask yourself who are you a karmic to so anyway enough about what I feel. Let's let's get spirit's um, perspective as it pertains to the karmic. So the overall energy of this reading, we have Knight of Cups, we have Horus. Um, your thoughts are magnetic and power, powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. I'm sorry, ooh, sorry. And I have the Ten of Swords, endings and new beginnings. Perfect energy for the karmic. Why? Because we have this romance. We have romance. We have offers. We have ending and new beginnings, and we have powerful, miraculous changes occurring. Um, and I want to show you guys these cards. And Soul Flame was right under there. Look at this. Horus Karmic Cosmic Gateway. Soul Flame. Um, Ten of Swords. The star right under the Ten of Swords. Better times. The Knight of Cups, and they use the Pentacles right under the Knight of Cups. But basically, this is, you know, this tells me, this is, this, the spirit can be talking to the Divine Feminine and the Karmic at the same time as one person. So while we're on these journeys, and be cognizant of the negativity you spew towards a karmic because you could be spewing that same negativity towards yourself. All right, so the first combination we have is love and acceptance and Lady Venus. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts and Lady Venus. Truth is being revealed. Deep, deep. Goodness, what's wrong with me today? Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. As above, so below. Um, truth is being revealed. Divine partnerships are being revealed. Codependencies and karmics are being revealed. So, I want to say there is no way out of it. If a person is not your divine partner, that person is simply not your divine partner. If it's someone who was put in your life to help you grow, um, perhaps the ending or painful things will begin to happen in that relationship until you go with the flow of the energies and you just, you trust the universe and you let it go. You are love. You are divine. You are, you have to recognize your divine worth as a feminine, as a divine person. And, and I'm using the term feminine. We have both feminine and masculine energies, but let's, let's speak on, from a, um, feminine perspective or a divine perspective. You're a divine person as well. You're a manifestation of God on earth as well. So when you're referring to yourself as a karmic or you allow yourself to remain in this position as a karmic, you ignore the divine part of yourself. You you willingly imbalance yourself for a partnership that is no longer supposed to be um, together. 
it's about trust. It's about trusting the universe. It's about trusting the divine, knowing that it's leading you towards love. It's leading you towards acceptance. It's leading you towards um, understanding and truth. But when you're a karmic, you don't accept that truth because you feel like your truth or what you want to be true is better than what God and the universe has to offer you. But you have to remember that love is yours. You have to recognize your divine worth and you have to choose loving thoughts regardless of the situation, regardless of who you're with, and accept yourself. So when you deny change, when you deny the divine workings in your life, when you, divide, when you deny a potential divine partnership to stay in a karmic partnership, you're denying yourself. And twin flame and dualities is about acceptance of yourself first and acceptance of um, divine intervention in your life and divine guidance in your life and acceptance of your partner as well even if it's not the person that you thought it was going to be now i'm not preaching towards the karmics again i'm a karmic to someone i, I have an ex-husband i'm a karmic to someone you may be a karmic to someone as well of course you are. So it's, this is not to spew negativity towards karmics. And, and as I see these comments on these videos, spewing negativity towards a karmic, and I'm just like, you, you're a karmic too. First thing we have is Six of Pentacles. Balance. How perfect, the, how perfect is spirit right on with these messages. Clarified by the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. How perfect is this combination? Oh man, I got I saw 666 in this reading as well. Um, which is the number of balance and acceptance. But we have a karmic is an imbalanced feminine. The karmic as it as it yeah, it's an imbalanced divine person, an imbalanced feminine. You're imbalanced on the feminine side. Again, we have masculine side and we have feminine side. The karmic is imbalanced on the feminine side because you're conflicted about this love from the past. You can't let go. So you remain in conflict. You remain in a relationship that no longer exists. In a relationship that is no longer good for you because you're attached to this past. You cannot let go of the past. You cannot let go of this partnership that you want it to have. So it gives you conflict. It brings you conflict when it doesn't work out. It gives you anxiety and conflict when it's in balance. Uh, causing it an imbalance, an internal imbalance in you because you haven't accepted that this relationship no longer works for you. We've all been there. I mean, I was my ex for... 14, 15 years, married five, probably shouldn't, you know, I don't even going to say what I was about to say. But we remain in these relationships as karmics, knowing that it's not good for us sometimes, but we just have hope. We, we're holding on to it because we don't trust that there is better out there. But karmic, I'm letting you know there is better out there. And if you're a feminine watching this, you were a karmic to someone too, so you should have some understanding towards whoever it is that resonates as the karmic in your divine partner's life. Your divine partner is a karmic. He or she is a karmic to someone as well. They may have had a hard time letting go as well. They may have been codependent towards their karmic partner as well. We all, there is a battle between all of us that we have to let go of the old and, and welcome the new or let go of what's not working and trust that God and the divine guides and universe is bringing us better and bringing us more, bringing us our feminine, masculine, bringing us our match, bringing us the partner that, that we're supposed to grow with, that we're supposed to work with, that's going to be equal give and take and much better partnership than we want, than we had before. We have to accept the fact that our karmic partners were there to help us grow. And then may not have, they have, may have been four seasons or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine. But it's, it comes to a point where you have to let it go. So this a karmic is an imbalanced feminine who can't let go. Imbalanced masculine who can't let go. But usually it's the imbalance is on the feminine side because you don't trust spirit. We have the Death card and the Eight of Swords clarifying exactly what I just said. There's a transformation occurring, you know, but you're all tied up. You can't embrace this transformation because you don't trust. You're all tied up.
You don't trust what God has for you. You feel like what you have for you is better than what God has for you. You're, you're mentally tied up. The devil has you on his leash. You're all tied up. Transformation is occurring regardless, though. You know, it's happening regardless. But you're all tied up because you don't trust what's happening. Lastly, we have the Four of Pentacles. And this Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Oh, it's spiritual warfare, baby. Look at the Chariot. That's war. But it's, I'm getting still getting peaceful vibes from this. There's fortunate changes happening. When, when your karmic partner decides to leave and, and go with a feminine or go with their divine partner, that opens the door for you to be free for your divine partner as well. So it's a fortunate change that you're holding. See, you're holding yourself back from something good. When you're a karmic, it's because you're stuck in the past and you're stuck with, in this relationship from the past and you're holding yourself back from something that's better. You're fortunate. The will of fortune is positive changing. The, the will is changing positive. It's a positive change in your life. It's forward movement with the chariot card. But you're too busy holding on to the past and, to, and preventing yourself from embracing the future. Even though it's fortunate. Man, I wanted to quote, um, take the first step, even if you don't see the remaining steps. It's a Martin Luther King Jr. quote or something like that. Take the first step, even if you don't see the entire staircase, whatever it was. But you're afraid to take that step because you can't see the entire staircase. But what's on the other side of the Wheel of Fortune is something better for you. What's on the other side of the Wheel of Fortune is your divine partner. So you can be mad at the feminine. You can be mad at your divine, your masculine. You can be mad at your divine, your partner, whoever, your, your soulmate. Because just because karmics are soulmates too. You can be mad at your soulmate when he or she wants to move on. But the truth is that opens the door for you to be with your divine partner as well. That opens the door for growth. For a positive change in your life as well. It's not just a positive change in the divine feminine, divine masculine's life. It's a positive change in your life as well. But you can't see it that way because you're too busy holding on to the past. And you're too busy being imbalanced and not trusting your feminine energy. You have divine worth as well. It literally says it. You're, you're capable of being loved as well. You're somebody's divine partner as well. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts regardless of what's happening. Regardless if you're breaking up with someone that you thought you were going to be with forever. Regardless if things are not working out the way that you thought that they were going to work out. You have to trust. Trust God. Trust, I don't know what your faith is, but we got Horus on the bottom of the deck. You got to trust Horus. Trust God. Whatever Jesus, Horus, Saint, Tomato, Tomato, whatever you want to call it, you got to trust it. Miraculous changes are occurring. But you have to let it. When you hold on to the old, look at this, soul flame, right? Let me read this. I'm sorry. Before I get into my rant about holding on to the old. Let's read Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Like you cannot make this stuff up. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. I have to read all of these. Child. Archangel Michael, trust heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to confer. Occur, I'm sorry. Like, Master Jesus is right under there. You are on a path to light, love, and forgiveness. Healing is possible at this time. Like, I want to read all of this. Focus on your purpose. Stand strong. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. You got to re rediscover this lost part of yourself. Relationship healing, relationship harmony, healing is available to you as well. You have to embody that feminine. Do not take advantage of the feminine energy that's in aiding you. You have God in you as well. You have Horus in you as well. Jesus, whatever you want to call it, you have it in you as well. You have to trust it though. Trust your feminine energy. You are divine as well. Trust that. Trust your divine feminine energy and embrace it.
As long as you embody this karmic energy, you continue to hold on to the negative. You continue to hold on. That's the demon. That's the devil holding on to you and keeping you from better. That honestly is like you know, holding on to the past. Not only you, you're holding them back as well. You're holding your partner back. You're holding yourself back. You're holding their divine partner back. But nobody can stop God's plans. So it's going to happen whether you like it or not. You see this Ten of Swords on the ground with the swords in the back. But what's happening is for his or her good. What's happening is for your good, even if it hurts. Even if it hurts, you have to trust God. Even if it hurts, trust the divine voice within yourself. Trust your feminine energy. Trust your divine guides and your angels and ascended masters. Trust that whatever is happening is for your good. These endings are meant to be. You're not supposed to remain in a karmic relationship forever. You learn what you learn from the relationship. Hopefully you can remain friends with your karmic, your soulmates. Because there are soulmates as well. Hopefully you can remain friends with them. But you move forward knowing that you have someone out there that matches you. You have healing and restoration out there. You have a lost, you rediscover that lost part of yourself. And you become one with yourself again. And you become one with your divine partner instead of a karmic relationship. You can remain friends, whatever, but know that there is better out there for you. So when you embody this karmic energy, you deny yourself and you're denying God. You deny your trust for God in the universe. You deny that what what's for you um, is better and what's to come is better than what has been. You deny that, but it really is. So this has been very, this is, I like, I'm glad that I did this reading. Because, you know, I see the negative comics, but I have compassion for karmics because I've been one. And, you know, I try not to embody that energy, um, but I have my moments. And we all have our moments when we think about, you know, what has been and we want to hold on to it. But you have to let it go. And you have to learn to trust that there is better for you. I trust that there is better for me. I know as a divine feminine, as a divine masculine feminine who is balanced with both energies and finding balance between my masculine energy, I know that what's on the other side is better than what has been. So I trust it. Trust it enough to let go. You have to trust it enough to let go. I hope this helps. I do wish you love. I do wish you light. And I hope and pray that you find the divine light within yourself, that you find that masculine and feminine energy within yourself, and you find balance, and you find that healing that you also oh deserve, that feels oh so good, and that you find and follow and seek the light. This reading has been brought to you by my book, The Power of I Am, on Amazon. Research or search Ashley Gillard on Amazon and it will lead you there. It's also on Barnes and Noble and other platforms. Again, I wish you love and light. Peace.